This is Najma. And I am an Afghan German. The wonderful country of Germany has over 150,000 people of Afghan descent, with the city of Hamburg having almost a quarter of them all. Where are you from? I'm from Afghanistan. Kabul? Herat, Herat. Herat, nice. This is pilau. Uh -huh. And we have here lamb steak. And you're from Afghanistan? Yes, I am. Do you like it here? Yes, I like Hamburg, I like Germany. Not surprisingly, they call Hamburg Little Kabul because here you can find traditional Afghan food. Yummy, yummy, kabob. You can hear Dari spoken on the streets and you are surrounded by Afghan markets and souvenir shops. The most important thing is chai for Afghans. <laughs> All the different kinds of chai. Original Afghani, good Afghani. Do you have many Afghan friends here? I have a lot of Afghan friends. How many? Hundreds. Hundreds? Yes. Really? Yeah, really. It's honestly giving me flashbacks to a few months ago when I was traveling in Afghanistan. Right now I'm standing at the top of Kabul, Afghanistan, overlooking the entire city. Najma's story is interesting because much like other Afghans abroad, she has a tough time identifying with one side versus the other. Do you feel more German or more Afghan? I can't say it because um, I thought about this um, a lot, but I think I am 50% German, 50% Afghan. She was born in Hamburg, but raised by Afghan parents. So by blood, she's 100% Afghan, but her thoughts are somewhat mixed. A lot of my thoughts are like the German people, but I have a lot of thoughts like the Afghan people. I'm open mind, but not so <laughs> much. It's a middle thing, I think. She speaks Dari at her conservative parents' home, but at her job and on the streets, she speaks German. She works as a makeup artist, and she also creates content online. Uh, I. Um, do YouTube since two years and Instagram since uh, two years. But she knows it's a little bit risky. I love to um, do it as an Afghan girl because I know there's not a lot of Afghan people who do it. If you go to Afghanistan, are you scared? Yes. Why? Because I know I'm not the biggest YouTuber on earth, but I'm an Afghan uh, YouTuber. I'm scared to be, to be there um, and someone say it to another person and they like okay he is an Afghan YouTuber and it's not okay but maybe it's not too important I think I just have to relax. It's important to highlight Najma's story because it's applicable to millions of others around the world who partly identify with two or more cultures. Personally I have many friends who are like this and they should never be judged or treated differently because diversity is what makes the world go round. Okay guys hold off this und auf Wiedersehen. I'm Drew Binsky and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.